Hi everyone, it's Tim Ria here live at the Idea Live studio with Jason Goldberg, yes. Digital Summit at CS 2014. So Jason's actually the president of Idea Life, the sponsor of the show. We saw you last at the MHEL Summit, and today you're just on a panel. That's right. No, and uh, it's great to uh, sponsor the program and see you yeah. again. Last time we were together at MHealth, we were uh, getting ready for uh, all the excitement and the action that happens at CES, and uh, especially coming off the panel and some of the discussions we've had, uh, being with ADT at the booth, uh, it resonates uh, a lot that there's such a gap of or such a disconnect with regards to real solutions that are being implemented today rather than the pie in the sky, what's happening tomorrow. Exactly. And, uh, and that's some of the things that we've been talking about on the panel even. Yeah, and it was really fun to be at your booth and, and go through that connected experience from the mirror. What was going on there? So we started to really show the world uh, what we can do today and uh, what tomorrow is going to look like when we really think about uh, individuals living independently, uh, living longer independently, working with their families, with their care providers, uh, and as uh, healthcare facilities, think about how can we better manage individuals in their chronic conditions on a long-term basis. So what you saw there and what we're showing here also is the connected home of the future yeah. uh, and how we can interact with the right information at the right time in the right meaningful way uh, to keep people living uh, at a quality of life that they expect as individuals for a longer period of time. Yeah, I know that's a big mission of ARP. I see Jeff Makalka out there in the audience. Hi, Jeff. Um, talk to me about data. Data has been a big trend today, the realities of extracting data, doing big things with data, but today, what are we doing? So today, uh, I think not as many people are doing enough uh, with useful data. Uh, one of the things that we really focus a lot, not only on the consumer and uh, implementing the right strategies around consumer adoption, but on the right strategies from a clinical perspective in deploying the right operational framework with regards to deploying devices, uh, connected solutions, and what do we do with this information. So it's less about all of this data uh, and bombarding individuals, uh, consumers, care providers, uh, clinicians with all this data, but making it meaningful. And uh, one thing that we've been very successful of is working with uh, the clinical facilities and providers, healthcare institutions, hospitals, in harnessing the power of the right information and making timely, actionable uh, decisions based on that data. Interesting, interesting, it's moving very fast. Very fast, I mean, you know, the space, uh, uh, you see the plethora of uh, exciting new technologies and devices uh, year in, year out. Uh, I think we, uh, still have that issue of interoperability and uh, integration. Uh, it's one thing that we've been able to achieve to deliver uh, larger, scalable projects uh, over the last little while. Um, but uh, it's moving at such a fast pace that, uh, you know, here we, uh, we saw some very exciting things around uh, wearable technologies uh, and making information more useful is uh, the next stage that we're doing. So what are you trying to get out of CES overall and being here? Uh, you know, for, for us, why I get up every day in the morning, uh, you know, we were fortunate enough to have uh, uh, one of the patients that we served, and uh, we do in fact do that. With our technology and with our partners, we serve patients and health consumers every day. Uh, Mr. Arthur Tyson, uh, if you were able to see that, uh, uh, that presentation, how we helped save his life with, uh, with one of our customers, uh, we get up every day in the morning because of those situations, and uh, we're here to spread the word that we can actually leverage a lot of these exciting things outside of the lab in practical environments and uh, make people know that uh, things are being utilized today and it's not just a, a dream for tomorrow. Yeah, no, I mean, your booth at the MHEL Summit was a, a reality experience and the, pol the, the products were polished, the finish was done, it was, it was market. Everything here uh, uh, is here and now and today and being used in the field uh, with a lot of customers, a lot of consumers now interacting and engaged uh, more than ever before with their disease process and uh, uh, we're able to equip their care providers, not only clinicians but also the family members that are uh, interacting with these individuals in a more uh, fluid and productive manner, uh, really leveraging what we do uh, as far as a technology company in practice. Uh, which is very exciting, and, and that's what we continue to uh, spread here today with uh, a wonderful partner of ours, uh, ADT, uh, that, uh, that you've seen and have experienced a lot of those exciting things. So uh, how, do you, how do people connect up with Idea Life? Yeah, so come see us uh, online, idealifeonline.com, I-D-A-L-L-I-F-E, online.com. Uh, you can get a lot of great, exciting uh, information there and, uh, and stay in touch. All right, well, thanks for sponsoring and, ho and being part of the show today. We're 
having your support makes a lot of things happen. I know we've touched a lot of entrepreneurs and different folks here and created this channel. So thank you again, and we'll see you uh, in the near future. Yeah, and in a few months at the, uh, at the next snow. conference. That's yeah. right. Yeah, when the snow melts down a little bit, the ice uh, comes down. Nice. Thank right. you. Great to see you, Tim. Cheers. Thank you.